and uh, Colette Atwell from Derbyshire is the uh, first to go with Jacko, six-year-old and miniature poodle, first of eight uh, medium dogs. And uh, Jacko has been, uh, oh, uh, Colette, I should say, has been doing agility for about 10 years, mainly for fun, which is what we've just been talking about, second year for these two at Crufts and very excited to be here as well. Jacko, the miniature poodle. There are a lot of these around the country at the moment, aren't there, Graham? There are, but uh, they're a popular dog. They're, they're bred to work poodles anyway, so they, like all dogs, all dogs enjoy this. Uh, and this dog's having a ball as well. Just say push around the back now. Now it's a, a fast finish for them. They do have to steady up, though, just for that seesaw that must touch the ground before the dog gets off. Beautifully done. And nice round of applause there. And she's very happy. The dog gets its reward, which is the ball you can see there, the green ball. Brilliant. Good work, good opening round for Colette and for Jacko. And uh, the next round I will ask Graham to give you his intricate details of this course that has been set uh, for these dogs on this second afternoon at Crufts. Wes, crossbreed, Russell Mason the handler from Burton on Trent. Russell's first agility dog and took uh, the dog over from his wife when she was injured and has never looked back, never been to Crufts before. No, nope, uh, nicely into the weaving poles. This course uh, does present a number of tests for the dog, and that's what we should be doing. We shouldn't be testing the same skill every time. You'll see that uh, there are tunnels, there are around the back of jumps, there are straightforward bits. They've got these nasty contacts they've got to get as well, so they push around the back of that one. There we go, over the long jump. Have to stretch out over that one. They must touch the white bit on the way up and on the way down. That's beautifully done, and a really respectable time, 36.327. 36.327, and along that round, collecting five faults, Wes and Russell. Lovely Kelpie, Australian working Kelpie, and the Nigel Staines, competed in agility for 31 years, his 20th year at Crufts. And he says they wouldn't allow me to use my Zimmer frame. He said that, not me. Over the dog walk at the far end as we look at things from our commentary position. Through the tunnel, heading back towards us over the U-move jump. Again, trip through the weaves. Own pace, own style for uh, Zico through the weaves. Little bit of hesitation there. Tunnel no problem. Right-hander towards us. A-frame. Good contact at the bottom of it. Endorsed by Nigel. Nigel getting in these up with a little bit of a sprint for a flying finish over the jump. Seesaw is good. And 37.9. Elation from Nigel and from Zico. Second place at the moment. Very nice from Nigel. They, they call him Mr. Kelpie. He's been very loyal to the Kelpies. He does have other dogs, but he's, I think he's got to say that probably his, his favourites are the Kelpies. And he's, he's been well known. He's won major competitions over the years with this breed. Uh, and he just loves it. Shetland Sheepdog, Zafira, five years of age. Sue Midgley coming back from a bit of an injury. More from, on that from Graham in a moment. From Freeland in Oxfordshire. Competed in agility with Border Collies for 36 years. Yep, you can certainly say that Sue's got the T-shirt. As you say, she uh, she hasn't done a lot for about six weeks, so she's just coming back from an injury. But uh, don't let that fool you. She, she She's going to surprise us all. She's very, very competitive. She will try and handle this dog in the most economic way. She will try and get the dog to do the work for her. Does come with its own problems when you're trying to handle at a distance, because the closer you are to your dog, the less chance you are to have problems. But she is putting on a very, very good display here so far. Can she get this round the back? Yes, she can. Now she'll keep her right arm out, pointing the dog over the jumps, making the dog do the works. Oh, and she's just pushed into that jump and push the dog around it. She'll be annoyed with herself about that because it was all going so well. But anyway, great effort there from Sue. Little mistake at the end from Sue and Zafira, costing a five faults just as the end was beckoning and perhaps uh, just took a rise off Zafira and was penalised for it. This is Jaffa, a prom for Lander. Unusual, not often seen at Crufts. Becky Hodson, the handler. Tell us a bit more about this dog, Graham. 
Yeah, Kronfelander, it's uh, not a recognised breed with the Kennel Club, but it doesn't have to be, as you say. You can compete with any sort of dog here. Uh, they're very popular, they're quite popular in Europe, actually, and you can see why, because they're very agile, very willing to work, um, and they are absolutely ideal, uh, ideally suited to do really well at, uh, at agility. So there we are, so work, she's still got to work, it's just as hard with these dogs, so she points the dog into the tunnel, gets herself into position for that turn onto the A-same, a lovely turn around that jump there. Now it's another push around the back of that U-move jump there. The time, is, the time is really good, uh, Graham, for Becky and for Jaffa, the Kronfelander. That is really, really good. 33.6, the best we've seen. A dog well suited to agility and making a huge impression here on day two of Crufts. See the dog stretching away as it comes up that tunnel, just it wants to be with Becky all the time. Working Cocker, wizard, seven years of age, Adele Moran from Stoke-on-Trent, first time qualifying for Crufts for Wizard, qualified at Discovered Dogs in October, loves to run agility, and we might well see Wizard getting a little tennis ball at the end of uh, his efforts today. Good opening ten seconds for the Wizard. Good through the weaves as well, shaping up really nicely, Adele and Wizard. And out of the tunnel. A frame up. Great stuff. And a big yelp saying, Yeah, I've done that fine. This is a really good round and a really quick round as well. Have to slow a little bit over the seesaw. Got it. Nailed it. Lovely. 36.1 for Adele and for Wizard into the top three. They go. Yep. Very nice round. As I said earlier on, uh, these cockers, working cockers, very, very popular at the moment. And you can see why. They say working breed, uh, ideally suited to this and they just love it. Just don't let them uh, wander off with any item of your clothing, which they've got a <laughs> tendency to do. Penultimate to medium dog, uh, Rosie Cavill and Boo, Hungarian Moody. Boo's second time at Crufts, seven years of age. Beautiful looking dog. And Boo. This one would say boo to a goose. Noisy, noisy round this from the Hungarian Moody. But it's good and it's quick and it's faultless. And Rosie will be absolutely delighted thus far. Plenty to go though. Just made contact at the bottom of the A-frame. I looked at our judge, uh, Nick, for that. Said it was fine. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35.4 for Rosie. And that's and boo, and boo they go into the top three. They do. Uh, just a bit of a slow start of this dog when uh, when Rosie first had it, but it's now gained its confidence. It's doing really, really well. Rosie's a very experienced handler, uh, and as you can see, they're very nicely made seesaw and a great finish, and she's very happy. Great images too. The last of the medium dogs, Lauren Langman, won the jumping this morning. Correction, uh, still Lauren Langman, it's still classic. Miniature American Shepherd. Yeah, confirmation they did win the jumping this morning. And let's see what they can do this afternoon. And it's looking really good so far for Lauren and for classic. Really swiftly through the tunnel, my goodness. Lost a little bit of time there, though has the abilities to make it up. This is so quick, so accurate, so precise, and I think it's going to be really right up there over the seesaw, over the last jump, 32.9. Fantastic. Lauren and Classic, absolute classic. And number one, look at that. Absolutely brilliant. I thought she'd lost it for a second when she, she the dog turned the wrong way. She'd lost so much time there. I mean, she probably lost well over a second there just in that turn alone because it didn't carry the forward momentum, but it had the overall ground speed. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So sensational from Lauren right at the end there. Picked up that time superbly. The only one inside the 33s. Great stuff from Lauren. And again, 
the best of the best comes to Crofts, and you can see by the level of performance what I'm talking about there, and that's crunching the times together, and uh, a fine performance from, from Lauren.